All right, so as mostly promised, I didn't take you guys with me yesterday, but I did go on an adventure and made an acquisition. So I figured I'd share it with you guys. Just be a, a quickie video, but uh, we got more projects to come. So yesterday I met with uh, somebody and picked up this guy. Now I don't know if the lighting is really helping here because of that garage door being open, but what we have is a 2000 Harley Softail Springer and it's a green and black. I don't know what color green that is. If, if somebody does, um, uh, let me know. I've got my suspicions, but I haven't had any way to really confirm it yet. I ran the VIN number. That didn't tell me anything. I haven't pulled the seat to see if maybe a paint coat is listed under there, but I don't know. We'll see, but it's got these just awful, awful butt corn handlebars. And once you're underway, they're not so bad, but you know, if you're making slow speed maneuvers, they suck. Your body gets pinned up against, or your hand gets pinned up against your body. It's, these gotta go. So it's, it's filthy. I haven't uh, had a chance to go through and clean it yet, but that, that'll be coming up. Uh, it's got a, a two into one. I, I don't know what that pipe is. It's weird. Uh, the tip here, it's got a little gap there. So this discoloration is exhaust gas is coming forward. There's no markings. I haven't found anything online as to what it is. So if anybody's got a guess, you know, toss it my way and see if we can't figure it out. But kind of want to get rid of those. Uh, let's see here. We'll come around to the back. Bought it out in Idaho. Dude kept his plates. I, I guess they're kind of weird about their license plates over in Idaho. Uh, but all in all, I mean, it, it runs good. You know, it's got a big old man seat to it. I'm hoping that, uh, you know, this is coming through, to be honest. Uh, but we got the forward pegs, which definitely is taking us getting used to. I've been riding with floorboards for so long now. Uh, it's sitting on, let's see if I can get this here, 32,854 miles after a bit of a joyride, a cold joyride yesterday. Uh, things that are, are wrong with it or are gonna get changed is I've got a pretty ugly dent here. I'm gonna see if maybe I can't get a, like a PDR kit and pop that or try the, the air compressor trick and hook it into the uh petcock and maybe pop it out that way i don't know i might just say screw it just buy a whole new tank and get all the tins painted to match we'll see but oh the the foot pegs gotta go i mean we'll keep foot pegs but i gotta get something that's not 23 years old we're gonna replace the shifter peg this was bent inward this bike has been dropped uh on both sides at least once each, I mean, which we can tell by that dent. But this was kind of cocked inward, so I grabbed a big box wrench, slipped it around the peg down here, and then cranked it back. Since these are steel, it just flexed right back into place. Quick and easy. Headlight here, it's, it's got a bit of a, a play to it, so I gotta get into that housing and see what's missing from up in here. I don't know if it's an isolator or a bolt or a couple bolts. Did come with a windshield. I ran that yesterday because it's bloody cold. Took that off, put it back over there. Crash bar is going to come off because I'm just kind of looking for a bit more stripped down look. Um, it's the Twin Cam 88 that the previous owner or two owners ago, maybe three owners ago, I, I don't know, said that they did the cams in there, which by all rights means that they also did the shoes, the cam tensioner shoes, but I will... You know, crack into that and confirm just wear and tear on them. Uh, but so somebody did the cams, they put bigger jugs on there because, you know, the bigger the better. Who'd, bigger jugs is always better. Uh, so it's been, according to the previous owner, upgraded to a what he kept calling a 1550 by my math. That should take it from an 88 to a 94. Talking to the dealership, it should be more along the lines of a 95 or 96. I don't know. Uh, I can just go off of the math. But the brake lever was also, you know, cocked in a little bit. So grabbed a pair of cres uh, grabbed a crescent wrench, cranked it back. So straighten that up so that that brake's actually usable. 
I got my eye on a, a Saddleman seat because we know I love my Saddleman seats. That's going to come off. Uh, let's see what else. The bars. I mean, well, well, actually, before we get to the bars, the lighting, if I have my way, it's all going to go custom dynamics. But to do all of the lighting would put quite the dent in my wallet. So we'll see. Now, I'm hoping to do custom dynamics, but I'll take a look at some other options, too, because these things are awful. Oh, God, they're awful. Uh, so kind of go from there. It does need new tires. The tread on them is fine, but they're just looking a little aged and rotten. So I already got those picked out. We're going to go put the same tires on this that we put on the Street Glide, which is escaping me at the moment. The Metzler Cruise Tex. So we'll put that on here because they're doing well on the street glide. But the bars, I had two ideas. Uh, sales guy, sales manager out at Lone Wolf had another idea. His was go taller risers, keep the bars. It's an idea. I just don't like the bar, so I don't, I don't see myself going that route. One of my ideas was going with some 14-inch mini apes. I mean, I don't want to go to the sky with them, but I think... This would look good with some old school mini apes, not the, the meat hooks like what we got on those two. You know, that's different styling. I'd rather keep this a little bit more old school and go with uh, just the, the, the regular bend, you know, just a traditional uh, mini ape. Or, and I'm kind of leaning towards this option because I haven't done it yet, taller riser, maybe an eight inch riser and drag bars. You know, that I'm kind of leaning that way, but since it's a springer, now, the spacing here is a little bit different than on other bikes, even of the same year, I guess. So, but, uh, you know, the springs are in great shape. It's just filthy. So, wheels got to be cleaned up. They're kind of dirty and rusty. We're going to do that with some uh, quadruple aught steel wool. But here she is. This is our uh, our new project. So, with any luck, I'll actually... Take a break from these two. Not that this one has seen a lot of love, but we'll see what comes in tomorrow on, on Christmas. Maybe my family members love me enough to get me more motorcycle stuff. They don't really know about this one yet. A uh, couple do, but I've kind of kept this close to the chest, but uh, they'll find out soon enough. So that, that's about all I've got. You know, if you guys got any ideas or, or, or pictures of uh, Springers that you guys have seen that were just badass, Throw them down below. I'm open to all kinds of ideas. Uh, I I don't want to go cholo with this. If anything, I would consider going a chopper route, but it, that that costs all the dollars. I don't have all the dollars, uh, but I'm definitely looking for ideas. So we know I've I've got a list. I'm shopping around. I'm checking out Dennis Kirk. I'm checking uh, J and P Revzilla. You know, hell, I even kind of committed to a, a cardinal sin and started looking at Amazon. I don't want to go the Amazon route. But if I can find, uh, like, some Arlen Ness stuff, which I'm eyeballing on Amazon, and it's cheaper, I'd kind of be hard-pressed not to go that route. But I prefer going through Dennis Kirk personally. So that's all I've got. Just wanted to, to hop on and give you guys an update about what I did. So... Questions, comments, concerns, as usual, drop them down below. I'll get back at you. Uh, until then, we'll catch you next time.